Hey, it's Dan with the customer education team here at Duda. And in this video, I'll show you how to build a no-code membership site with Duda. We all know that websites contain information, but the best ones actually do something. They book appointments, they sell things, they build community. And that means web pros like us need to know how to use tools like Duda to build rich web experiences at speed that allows our agencies and our businesses to grow. This project is for an existing client and the goal is to create an employees only area on their site that they'll use as an information hub within their brick and mortar stores. Wait, I'm just curious. Are you talking about a real client or a fictional client? Do we have to tell them? I'm just curious, and I think other people might be too. Fine, it's a fictional client. Anyways, here's what we need to do. First, we'll build the information hub. Then we can install membership, restrict access to all of the employee-only content, and configure the approval type. All right, I just logged into Duda, and as you can see, I have two separate pages that will serve as the information hub for employees. One page is for associates and the other is just for managers. On each page, I'll use the widgets panel to create the layout and make sure employees have everything they need to be successful while on the job. And boom, here's the finished design. The last thing we need to do before we move on to the next step is address the site navigation. I want both of these pages to appear in a drop-down menu within the navigation. To make that happen, I'll open the Pages panel and create a new folder called Employees. Now I can nest both pages under this folder. Cool, now we have a drop down menu in the navigation bar. The next step for this project is installing membership. There are a couple ways to get there, but I'll just open the side panel and click to install the app using the free plan for now. Cool, now one more thing and we can call this step done. I'll go to widgets, find the login widget and drop it into the site header. But with this solution, we're gonna run into a problem because the user not only needs to log into this site, but they also need to be taken to the information hub. Instead, I'll rely on the dropdown menu we created in the previous step. That said, I will add the login widget right here within the information hub page design. It won't actually help users log in, but it will provide a way for users to log out and end their session. All right, let's move on to step three and restrict access to these members only pages. Let's open the pages panel and within the page settings for the associates page, I'll set page access to members only and we're done. Thanks for watching. Okay, not quite, but restricting access is really that simple. The page can either be available to all members or only selected member groups. For the associates page, I'll leave this set to all members. However, we want to restrict the managers page to managers only. To make this happen, we'll start by creating a new membership group. Under groups, I'll click new group. Now I'll add a group title, Assign this group to the manager's page and click save. The last thing I need to do is make sure that members are set to only people approved manually on the membership settings tab. Now let's preview the site and make sure everything is working as expected. We started this project by building the pages for the information hub. Then we installed membership, restricted access to the employee only content, and finally we configured the approval type. All that's left to do is book a design review with the client, work towards approval, and finally we can upgrade the membership plan and publish.